Hi, Chase here with Scaffold Mart. This video is going to tell you about proper assembly and use of our BL2 small boat lift system. Here you see its components disassembled. It consists of a stern lifting base, a bow lifting base, and a bow lifting beam. The first step in proper assembly is inserting the stern lifting top into the stern lifting bases. I did two at the same time to demonstrate the system's ease of use, but this is not necessary. With the stern lifting bases assembled, we can move the aft of the vessel and position them such that when we get ready to lift the stern, they'll be right where we want them. With the stern lifting bases placed aft near the corners, we can assemble the bow lifting bases and move them into position. Assemble the bow lifting base by inserting the bow lifting rod into its respective base. When completely assembled and pinned together, the bow lifting beam is just short of 12 feet long. You use this information to guess where you're going to place the bow lifting base. What you want to do is imagine six foot from the keel, port and starboard of the front third of the boat. Use these guidelines to get the bases close to where you're going to have them when you actually lift the vessel. With all of your bases in position, you can now assemble the bow lifting beam. Do this by inserting the beam's extension arms into both sides of the keel fitting attachment. Secure them with the provided toggle pins. We offer two variations of the keel fitting. One for a flat bottom and one dropped for a deeper V. Depending on the shape of the bottom, choose your keel fitting and insert the extension arms. For this boat, I chose to use the flat bottom attachment. With the bow lifting beam properly assembled and pinned together, we're ready to move it into position and to begin to prepare to lift the boat from the trailer. The easiest and most effective way to position the bow lifting beam is to slide it under the keel, resting it in the middle of the beam on the trailer for leverage. Resting the bow lifting beam and the fittings at the top of the bow lifting rods, secure the beams with the provided nuts and bolts. With the bow lifting beam assembled and secure, maneuver the bases such that upon lifting the beam, the keel rests snugly and securely on its respective fitting. With the bow lifting beam in place, you're ready to lift the boat from the trailer. Before that, it's important to remove any straps, chains, or safety devices that secure the boat to the trailer. Double check to make sure that the boat is free of the trailer, not secured by any chains or straps, and is just resting on the bunks. Since the stern of the boat tends to sit lower than the bow of the boat, it's proper to lift it first. Move aft 
where earlier you placed the stern lifting bases. Slide the stern lifting bases underneath the boat. They should sit symmetrically at the aft corners in position where the top fits snugly and securely on the hull of the boat. There's no universal procedure for the placement of the stern lifting bases. So find a spot where they're secure on your boat, which is going to be different from any other boat. With the stern lifting tops in position, it's time to raise them. Alternating sides, raising the tops incrementally, continue in such manner until separation between the hull of the vessel and the racks of the trailer is visible from a few feet away. The objective is to create enough separation such that the trailer can be rolled out from under the vessel without any friction occurring. With the stern of the vessel safely and securely removed from the bunks of the trailer, it's time to raise the bow. Before actually lifting the bow of the vessel, it's important to snug the keel fitting up to the keel of the vessel. While doing so, it's important to keep a level base. That way, when you begin the process of raising the bow, you're working from a level foundation, so to speak. With the keel of the vessel fit snugly on the bow lifting beam, you can begin the process of raising the bow. Playing the same tune as you did at the stern, you're going to raise the sides alternating between the two and raising them incrementally in order to keep the boat level and to maintain balance. With the boat raised and level, double check to make sure that the bow lifting beam is completely and entirely clear from the trailer's bunks. If you judge that it's safe to move the trailer without bumping or knocking the equipment, you can remove your chalking material and simply roll the trailer out from under the boat. Our boat lift system is designed to remove a boat from a trailer and get it in the air, but not to secure it there to work under. We recommend a set of boat stands or a bow rack in place of the bow lifting beam. The stern lifting bases will suffice aft the vessel and do not need to be replaced by any heavier equipment. 